All right, this is my warmer collection video. This video has been highly requested from one of my subbies. I believe their name is Carlos. Carlos. Carlos has been saying, give me a wax warming collection video, lady. My video lady. Give me my freaking video lady. So here's your video, Carlos. Um, this is the warmer that I just had featured in my Let's Go Shopping. I found it at my local Ross. I just put it out and took it out of the box, hooked it up. As you can see, it has a leaf pattern um, that's embossed on this ceramic warmer. It's a 25 watt warmer. Um, like I was showing in the video, I do like that the pattern is carried on to the dish. I didn't make mention to that in the video, but I'm noticing it now. And the dish is pretty wide. I mean, it, it will definitely hold one candles from the keeping room in it very easily. Um, and it won't have a spillage, but I wouldn't do two. It can handle two, three bathing gardens, um, vintage chic, uh, any clamshells, two to three cubes. It should be able to melt down and not spill over, but I wouldn't go beyond that. So that's warmer number one. This is warmer number two. This is a 25 watt warmer. This warmer is made by Candle Warmers. You can find them at your local Publix, Hallmark, CandleWarmers.com, Amazon, just a variety of places, Bad, Bad Bath & Beyond. The only thing is that Candle Warmers make this style in 20 and 24 watts. So I would advise you if you're looking for a specific watch um, and you don't find it on the box, you're going to have to go into it inside of the store if you don't want to be disappointed when you get home. Uh, I.e., if you're looking for a 24 watt, open it up, determine if that's what it is. And you'll be able to find it underneath here or on the core in most cases uh, around the switch. So this is on the end table in my living room where next month wall art will go here, wallpaper, sofa, you get the whole idea. So right now it's on a stand, an end table in my living room. Let me move on to warmer number three. Here's warmer number three. This is my Scentsy Sweetheart Warmer. Um, this is a retired warmer, I, uh, same as being discontinued, it's no longer um, in circulation, but check with your Scentsy representative to see if they can get you to hook up and find you one, whether it be used or brand new. Um, and I believe this is 20, it's 20 or 20, let me see, it's 25 watts, and it melts just fine, and this is in my kitchen which is the dead zone area if you've watched six seven videos back um i shared in one of those videos about how my kitchen is just a difficult area to get a scent thrown in i've had warmers placed over there i've had them over in that corner and nothing can't hardly smell squat diddly diddly squat but i can smell diddly when i melt over in this area with this particular warmer um, the other warmers were 25 watts and a hot plate, 24 hot plate and a 20 watt Scentsy warmer and I just couldn't get anything but this 25 watt Scentsy warmer stationed here I can get a scent throw so as I always tell you guys move your warmers around switch out switch between your warmers try different warmers in di different locations until you get that perfect scent throw that you're seeking sometimes it's not the vendor sometimes it's not the warmer sometimes it's a matter of location or like I've had a 24 watt here but it just didn't do I just couldn't smell it so physics science somebody out there if you majored in this you probably can answer what the hell why moving on to warmer number four all right, we're in my boys' room. This is warmer number four. This is another Scentsy warmer. So I guess you say you like Scentsy. Uh -huh. um, this is the Creepy Crawly warmer that I showed you guys several videos back. You see my sons, right? It's a real boys' room, man. Um, and I thought this would be befitting for them. Um, naturally, 
the comforter that I was trying to pair this up with. It's not in here at the moment. It's in the washing machine. But, um, yeah, it's for my boys. It's a 20-watt warmer. And this thing melts beautifully. Um, I mostly melt Vintage Chic scents, roses in here, um, the Bathing Garden, Cube, A-Cube, um, any clamshell cube, Sassy Girl Aroma, um, Better Homes and Garden. I know I'm leaving a vendor out. Um, Jesus. But, yes, you get the point. It melts those just fine, even though it's a 20 watt warmer. And I and this is a really good room for melting wax. I can put any kind of warmer in this room, um, and 97% of the time get some type of a scent throw, even if it's light. I can give an honest feedback on saying, okay, you know, it was just a very mellow, very light throw. So that's warmer number four. Oh, and it's discontinued, but seek searching, you will find type of thing. Alright, this is warmer number five. I'm trying to keep keep track. This is warmer number five. This is a 24 watt warmer. And I just want to say all my candle warmers that I've shown you, coincidentally, I've had this in the burgundy. And then the burgundy one I showed you earlier, I had it in the cream. Both got broke in the last um, 60 days. And I just lost one two or three days ago, man. Um, there was a freaking funky thing going on back here with that outlet back there. That guy right there messed up my 24-watt warmer with the handle on it. Can't think of the name right now, but it's by Candle Warmers. And um, I plugged it in. I had, um, let me show you. I had this. And I guess this didn't want to work anymore. Something was an overload. I don't know. All I know is pop, 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 boom. I was like, what the? And it blew it. So I had to bury it the day before yesterday. So a moment of silence for my warmer. I'm going to really miss that freaking warmer. I don't know how I'm going to get it back because they still make it. But now they make it, they're making it in a 20 watt and I want it in a 24. Anybody see that warmer? And you feel bad for me in my situation, hit me up. I will definitely PayPal you and you can mail it to me if you like. Moving on to warmer number six. All right, this is warmer number six. This is on my desk. As you can see, warmers will stain your furniture. This is a Broyhill desk that's going to have to be. And I'm not tackling this project for another four months. I'm not even fixing this in here. A lot of you guys. But it's going to have to be sanded stained and repaint it the only good thing i can think out of it is i get to pick me a new color give it some spunk if i want to at that time but warmer stain this warmer didn't do it which is a scentsy another retired warmer this one i believe is blinking it's winking or blinking and it's from the nursery rhymes collect a uh, uh, lullaby or something like that collection and it was Lincoln blinking or not based on the little story um their folk songs and all that type of stuff out with talking about the little boys in their dream and whatnot but anyways my hot plate warmers did this so um i ordered some scentsy stands they are on back order so i'm waiting they should ship to me in another week this has been the longest wait but i wanted this particular style so i'm waiting it out anyways this is 25 watts very nice size dish. The little um, swiggly things is on both sides, you see? And I love it. I love the flank, the handles on both sides. It's just really cool. Now I'm going to take you over here. Same room, different warmer. And this is a sensational 40 watt warmer. Miss Cora was a sweetheart. She bought it on her end. Before my slow, slow Florida Ann ever got one. She's in California. And she found one at her Walmart. And I was able to PayPal her. And she shipped it to me. So thank you, Miss Cora. I don't use this one every day. Because for whatever reason in my mind, I don't want to blow my bulb. Because I don't have any 40 watt replacement bulbs at this time. So I'm just trying to really preserve it. And this is kind of how I store my wax, but that's a whole nother video. If you want to see that kind of video, just comment below. 
But this is my wax room. And this is kind of like bath and body and all that kind of stuff. Wax, wax, and more wax. And now here we are. Here's the other fatality from last week. I guess you're saying, what the fudge? Yeah, man. Man, warmers. I, I, I promise you, people, if I had not never broken a warmer, not like me, it's my kids. I've only broken like two dishes with trying to clean them out and it be too hot and, I, and it's slippery and I dropped it. I would have at least 12 warmers to show you over the course of my almost two year anniversary of melting. See that one? That's another warmer. No dish. This warmer. No dish. This one comes from um, Michael's. And this one is a, this is how I tell you about finding it. So it's on here, and I don't know if it's translating, but it's right there. And it's a 24 watt. This one was uh, Better Homes and Gardens. Oh, God. And this one was a 25 watt warmer. So I have bases and no tops and all that jazz. Back here are my future Christmas warmers that I got on sale from Miss Heather Streetman. She um, bought those. I have the best wax friends. There are a lot of generous people in the in the wax community, and um, these were three bucks, and it cost me like fifteen or something like that for her to ship it. And uh, yeah, so that's they're new, never been used. Here's some spare bulbs. And um, those are my boxes. I try to keep them. Hold on, folks. Yikazoids. There's um, my 24 watt jumbo warmer. Here's my box for blinking, which I think is still in there. Oh, and I have the Scentsy Cherry Tree. Just go back and look at my Scentsy haul. And you'll see what that one looks like. That was a warmer of a month from a few months back. I try to keep the boxes so whenever I change my mind. Okay, so it's not. The one that I just showed you is not. Then I have Blinkin. And I don't know if I've ever showed you Blinkin. I'm going to pause the video and take Blinkin out the box. So it's only Winkin that I need and I have the whole set. Hold on one second. Alright, so this is what blinking looks like. Isn't it pretty? Blinking is so beautiful. It's such a, it's an aquamarine, sky blue. I know I just went in two totally different color directions, but it's a blue that's pale and like a slight ivory hue to it. And as you can see, the swirly pattern um, is carried over on this warmer. And I'm trying to see. Yeah, they're about the same. I was trying to see if maybe they um, did this detail here differently on each warmer. But they pretty much did mimicked it and they just changed the colors. And it's on both sides, front and back. And then there's the Scentsy stamp to let you know it's authentic. So yeah, I just need Winkin, and I'll have all three. And that's all my warmers. Um, so pretty much in the last 30 days, I lost a dish to this one, the two tea light warmers, and the 24 watt warmer. Um, the month before that guy and um, I had the butterfly warmer from um, Walmart and um, that one broke it fell out of the window yeah man just a whoosh of wind out of nowhere if it was my mom she's so superstitious she'd be like a spirit walk by all right yeah man so um it just fell over but this is kind of like high storm at wax. I'm doing major destashing, so it's not the same. Again, if you wouldn't know how to storm your wax, just.
comment below what I've pretty much showed you in this video. Have a blessed day. I hope you're happy, Carlos. I did it. I finally did it, man. Peace.